Too fancy, I guess. Yeah. Um, you can see watercolor on canvas for the ceiling and all the fancy molded plaster up there, different colors. Um, the window treatments are very fancy too and rather gaudy by our standards. You see a Greek goddess or something peering down on us with her beady little eyes. Yeah, too, I like those little, they look like little um, leaves of some oh, yeah, kind of there, painted green. We've got green and yeah, bronze I mean, type amazing. colors. And pier mirrors at the opposite ends of the room. The old trick of trying to make your house, your room look bigger <laughs> and also look brighter because when he moved in there was no electricity. All they had was uh, gasoline. So it helped um, reflect more and more light. This, uh, oh, I'll stay over here. This is Louise. She was the ninth of the 10 children. She died at age 29 of tuberculosis, unfortunately. She was a very creative young lady. Her older sisters were taking things like, went to Catholic finishing schools and they took things like um, flower decorating, flower arrangement. She was taking calculus and chemistry. <laughs> she was not her older, <laughs> older sister's sister. Um, she was into her own thing. Very creative and artistic and it's a shame she died at, at age 29. Um, on the DVD they will tell you something about this um, large thing here. Uh, white onyx or marble. Francis Joseph and his four sisters saw it at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. It was a Tiffany or they were so they were told we can't find any proof it was a Tiffany. So they saw it, it cost $15,000 in 1893. That would be a quarter of a million dollars or more now. For that. For this. Yes. Um, white onyx around to support the large mirror, um, as well as the fireplace and the mantelpiece. So now we've got a quarter of a million dollar fire, fireplace in their, their main room that's only used on rare occasions. How many fires do you think they ever lit in this quarter of a million dollar fireplace? Zero! Zero. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. They didn't need fireplaces for heat. They had a coal fired boiler in the basement and they had steam heat throughout the house. This was just for show. There's a fancy fireplace in every room in the house virtually and only one we think could ever have been lit. Um, because the, the flues, these are not fake fireplaces, they're real fireplaces, they have flues that go up, but the flues were all capped decades ago except for one. I like having third and fourth grade tours because I always tell them that in every room you go into, they go, is that the one, is that the one? No. 